Rejoice Ministries happy to talk to you about God today. We are going to see chapter 37 of Ezekiel. You know it's a valley of dry bones where God takes this Ezekiel, his prophet, and he wants to show him an amazing thing which Ezekiel never thought of. So God takes him round the valley and he makes this Ezekiel see the bones. They go on a tour around the valleys and what does Ezekiel find? He sees that there are many bones there, all human bones and they were all dried up. And God says, will these bones come to life? When he asks so, Ezekiel says, well God, you alone know, you know everything. And God says, you have to prophesy to these bones. And God also helps as how to prophesy. He says, you have to say to them, in verse 4, he says, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath enter you and you will come to life. I will attach tendons to you and make flesh upon you and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. God is wanting him only to prophesy and leave the rest to God. And God says he is going to do a lot of wonders to those bones. So in verse 7 he, we see that uh, Ezekiel is uh, actually prophesying. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I was prophesying, there was a noise, a rattling sound, and the bones came together, bone to bone. I looked, and tendons and flesh appeared on them, and skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. So as soon as Ezekiel said, spoke to those bones, something happened that was God's doing. And the noise and the rattling sound, and then the bones coming together, and then the bones being covered with tendons and skin and standing up but without breath. All these things happened in a minute and Ezekiel witnessed the whole lot of it. And then he goes on to say in verse 9, Then he said to me, Prophesy to the breath, prophesy son of man, and say to it, This is what the Sovereign Lord says, Come, breath from the four winds and breathe into these slain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me and breath entered them. They came to life and stood up on their feet, a vast army. Just imagine everything happens in no time. We must learn to prophesy. We must learn to command according to what God says. That is the learning that we get from these verses. How do we pray? We say a lot of things in prayers, but we never command. We should learn to command and pray. Jesus Christ, as he was living in this world, he taught us how to command. All his prayers were never long. His prayers were very short. He would say, Lazarus, come out. And there he was, already Lazarus, dead four days before. And his body had degenerated and it would smell bad. Even then, when Jesus said, he did not see the condition of his body. He just said, Lazarus, come out. And there he was. In 2011, I had the opportunity to go to Israel. I saw Lazarus' tomb. I saw it was a cave and there were two stairs, two flights of staircase. And uh, the cave was very small and only a body could be laid there. And I can imagine and see how the body had gone up at the call of Jesus Christ as Lazarus come out, he wouldn't have had even time to walk up the stairs because his body was completely covered with those death clothes. And just imagine if you are tied up uh, tight, you will not 
not be able to get up even and so i know that his body must have flown at the call of christ at the command of jesus christ that was the power of christ if he could give to ezekiel such powers to command and to prophesy he gives the same powers to us even to this day we can command and pray some years back i used to command and pray even to this day i command and pray and i learned it from a book called fourth dimension written by paul yang ki cho he is a korean pastor when he started his ministry he had nothing he was in level 0 but now if you read about the korean pastor he has got the biggest church in the world what happened to him he has written everything in that book called fourth dimension and he says like we need to imagine and pray according to ephesians 3:20 i started praying that way i started imagining whatever i wanted i just imagined that i had it and i prayed and god as he promised he abundantly blessed me i got most of my things only using this same theory the same thing to imagine and pray and also to command according to god's word so it happened many things happened in my life today i just want you to command and pray sometime back i met one of my colleagues sister called easter joy admitted in the hospital in madurai my friend was in nagar koyal and she wanted me to rush to this sister of hers wanting me to pray she had already gone into coma so when i went there and i started praying i commanded in the name of jesus let the blood of jesus go into every part of her brain and you brain wake up you brain come to life in the name of jesus that's the only thing i commanded and prayed and i imagined and also saw her i didn't see the patient then because she had gone for a scan but i imagined and saw her alive and saw her working as a lecturer in a college because she was already a lecturer so it happened so that the very same night the doctor seeing her scan said which god do you believe the god you believed has done this miracle because when this patient came into our hands we knew that this patient will not survive the patient will surely die in 3 days the brain would burst and she would have a miserable death that was the condition of easter joy but then when prayer commanded when we prayed commanding the brain to work to survive the blood of jesus running through the brain she survived by god's grace she came to life she is still living she is working as a commerce professor in palayankota in a big college thank you jesus for her life so we need to pray commanding and prophesying over the person we can even pray over ourselves if our body is in not in good condition we need to command and say come on brain work come on you're feeling very tired in the name of jesus you tiredness leave my body right now this is how we need to command we can also say suppose our heart isn't working well maybe it has a block we should say in the name of jesus you block you dissolve in the name of jesus you melt like a candle in the name of jesus i see the blood of jesus running inside my heart is healing me right now so what we learn we need to command and pray we need to command when we command in the name of jesus there is power coming into our body any part of our body will get healed when we pray for anything in this world our prayers will be heard god will abundantly bless us when we imagine and pray when we prophesy when we command all these things are what are things that we learn from the bible so let us pray now heavenly father we look up to you master you are such a lovely god you have taught us such a lot through your word as how to prophesy as how to command and how to pray also how to imagine and pray how to use your words and pray all these things father god brings down the holy power of god into our body into anything that is not working all right 
Thank you Jesus for blessing us today for listening to this prayer whoever is suffering in their body whoever is praying for somebody else let their prayers come true let the prophesy come true let the word commanded with your name come true in the holy and mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth we pray amen have a wonderful time Rejoice Ministries Evangelist Dr Daphne Joseph cell 9171100011